The lungs are an essential organ for human life because they are constantly working to bring in oxygen and remove carbon dioxide. That is why if you truly want to improve your overall health, it's important to take good care of your lungs. And one way to do so is to monitor the foods that you consume in your diet. In this video, we're going to break down which foods you can eat to boost the health of your lungs in a natural way. And be sure to hang around until the end to see which foods you should avoid. Are you ready? Let's go. First and foremost, to improve the health of your lungs, you can strive to eat more foods with healthy fats. The first example is salmon, which contains a large amount of omega-3 fatty acids. While these healthy fats have been widely touted for their cholesterol-reducing effects, studies also show that they can help ease asthma symptoms as well. Not only is salmon good for lung health, it also helps prevent cardiac disease as well. Nuts are another great source of healthy fats. Research shows that a small handful a day can lower the risk of cancer. In fact, some studies even claim that one serving of walnuts every single day can reduce the risk of cancer by up to 50%. Flax seeds is another superfood that may be beneficial for your lungs. They contain omega-3s and other minerals, which could potentially have positive benefits for the respiratory system. There was an experiment conducted on mice that have been exposed to toxic compounds. The mice whose diet included flax seeds showed less lung damage under microscopic examination when compared to the mice that did not have flax seeds in their diet. I know, pretty crazy, right? The next way to give your lungs a boost is to eat more spices that reduce inflammation. Medical science has shown that chronic inflammation has a huge number of negative effects on your health. This means that the foods that fight inflammation are particularly good for not only your lungs, but for your entire body. Let's look at some examples. First, there is ginger. Ginger is a spice that has long been an asthma remedy in herbal medicine. Not only does it fight inflammation, it seems to naturally promote smooth muscle relaxation in the airways of the lungs, which helps to make breathing easier. Then there is turmeric. It's a spice that is common in Middle Eastern and Asian cuisine. Curcumin, one of its main ingredients, has natural anti-inflammatory effects. In general, turmeric has many of the same benefits for your lungs as ginger. Next up is garlic. Garlic is another spice that reduces inflammation in the body. Not only does garlic reduce inflammation, it also possesses antiseptic properties that help the body ward off infections. One study indicated that consuming raw garlic could reduce the risk of lung cancer in smokers by up to 40%. Next up is onion. Yes, technically onions are vegetables, but many people use dried onions as a seasoning while cooking. Consuming onions reduces inflammation and lowers cholesterol levels, which can provide a boost to your cardiopulmonary system. Another healthy spice is cayenne pepper. Not only does it add a spicy jolt to your food, cayenne pepper stimulates healthy secretions within the body that protect mucous membranes. Our lungs rely on mucous membrane tissues where the gas exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place. Chili peppers are another healthy spice that provides some of the same health benefits as cayenne pepper. It's a spice that is frequently found in Mexican cuisine around the world. Some recent experiments suggest that chili peppers can potentially slow down the spread of lung cancer. Another class of foods that you can add to your diet for healthy lungs include fruits and vegetables that are high in antioxidants. Antioxidants help clean up free radicals throughout the body. Free radicals can cause genetic mutations, which inhibit the proper function of every major organ in the body, of course, including the lungs. This is why consuming foods high in antioxidants can not only provide a health boost for your lungs, but all the major organs in the body. Some examples include oranges, bell peppers, grapefruit, avocado, dark leafy greens, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, apples, pomegranates, berries, and cantaloupe. We actually have a full guide on our website that provides more details about all the health benefits of each one of these foods. You can check that out if you're interested. I'll drop a link down below in the description, and that leads. As to the beverages that you can drink to provide health benefits for your lungs. First and foremost, of course, the number one drink is water. I know guys, it goes without saying. We all know that we need to drink more water, but it is important to emphasize that our lungs and all major organs need adequate hydration in order to function properly. 
So I technically couldn't make this video without at least mentioning water. But another beverage with positive health benefits is coffee. Now this one seems a bit counterintuitive because doctors of cardiac patients often recommend avoiding coffee due to the stimulative effects of caffeine. Now with that said, coffee acts as a vasodilator that improves blood flow throughout the circulatory system, which could potentially benefit the lungs. Coffee also provides anti-inflammatory effects and essential minerals that can help fight off infections. Now look guys, I'm just a guy on YouTube so do not take any of this as medical advice. If your doctor says not to consume coffee, caffeine, or any of the foods that were mentioned in this video, then don't do it. The purpose of this video was just to point out a few foods that recent studies have shown to be beneficial for the health of your lungs and respiratory system. So again, never disregard anything your doctor tells you because of something that you watch in this video. So now that you know which foods have positive health benefits for your lungs. Now let's talk about which foods you should avoid. Now, this video mainly focuses on the foods that benefit your lungs, which is good, but knowing which foods to avoid can be just as important because you don't want to cancel out all of the benefits of a long, healthy diet by eating harmful foods. So here's a simple rule of thumb. Any type of food that causes inflammation can be harmful for your lungs. This is especially true if you suffer from asthma, COPD, or other respiratory conditions. There are certain foods in the normal diet of an average person that causes allergies which results in inflammation. Some examples include dairy products and gluten, which is found in most bread and cereal products. So if possible, you wanna to try to avoid these foods because they can cause inflammation and food allergies. And finally, too much salt is bad for your lungs because it causes water retention. Yes, hydration is necessary to keep the organs functioning properly, but too much water interferes with nutrient transport and electrolyte balance. So if possible, Try to avoid processed foods that are high in sodium. So, there you have it. Now you know what foods are good for your lungs and which foods to avoid. Hopefully, you're now one step closer to taking better care of your lungs and overall health. If you thought this video was helpful, I'd appreciate it if you click the like button because it really helps to support the channel. And be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Which of these foods will you be adding to your diet? Let me know down in the comment section below. And just a reminder, if you want more details about how these foods benefit the lungs and respiratory system, check out the full article on our website. We talk about each of the foods and go into much more detail, and we provide links to all the studies so that you can dive deeper into how these foods are beneficial for your lungs, your respiratory system, and for the overall health of your body. And we have several other articles that you may be interested in on how to take care of your lungs and how to promote the health of your cardiopulmonary system. So again, you can find links to all these helpful resources right below this video down in the description. Thank you for supporting this channel and thank you for being a part of the Respiratory Therapy Zone community. Nothing would be possible without your support. That's it for this one. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.